Hi everyone and welcome back. So next thing we are going to talk about is SQLize. SQLize with the Nessius. So SQLize is another ORM and I already have a separate playlist for type ORM, separate playlist for uh, SQLize to get more into it like uh, how to write migrations, how to write query, how to write joins, all these different things. Okay, in this video we are going to talk uh, SQLize in the context of Nest.js. Okay. You might have seen a lot of uh, uh, examples using SQLize in memory data, database, right? Here you don't need a MySQL post this. You can actually write a REST APIs and store the data in the in memory. Okay, and these are like uh, the basic operations, like how to get started, the uh, how we are defining the schema models, like we are defining the type of RM entities. Similarly, we are going to define the, the classes here and all the different querying like find all, find by primary key uh, and then validations and constraint we can put and associations I have covered these these things in the details like belongs to has many has one and then association scope, transactions, the data types, queries, indexing all these things are there. Let's talk this uh, in context of Nest.js yes, how to establish a connection right so here we are talking about this sqlize with uh, nest.js and how we are going to establish a connection this is the same code base same code base i'm using in all the examples i'm changing the database connections i'm changing how to write entities i'm changing how to structure the folders so modules it's the same thing we haven't changed anything and here you can see in the app module we are importing a uh, post module and inside post module let's go to there inside post module we are actually passing post provider right so these are like uh, here we are accessing the services the post service and all and inside a code we should be having database so how it is different uh, the database connection is different here like uh, initializing the database connection you have to you have to return the sqlize object from your database Right, so this is the database provider provide sqlize inside a use vector you are checking what is the environment and based on the environment you are returning a config development config test production and uh, staging config and how your config looks like this database config uh, is simple which contains the database username password database host code dialect so this is your sqlize rc file Okay, which contain, contains the configuration of dev test production and here we have created a provider Okay, and we are adding this provider inside a module database provider Okay, you might create a separate service and define providers and service. There is no major difference Here we use provide and then the class definition using use factory Okay, and then we are using all these providers like database modules guards pipes in the the main module of our application okay uh, and then what we are doing here you can see we have defined our controllers like this is the post controller and post controller is saying get put post delete find all get by id uh, and this is the auth guard we are not using auth guard for now this is creating the the post this is updating the post and this is deleting the post. Auth card means to add auth or add a protection to these routes. So once user logs in, then only he should be able to access these routes. Okay. So now if we take a look onto the post service, here we are injecting the post repository. Right. So we will take a look onto the post provider. This is a little bit different than what we were doing with the type ORM because type ORM provides a repository by itself. Here we have to create injectable providers like post repository and the value is the post entity right and we are injecting this in the post service how we are doing it inject post repository and type of posts now from the post repository I can do create I can do update find one uh, destroy delete all the methods which an ORM provides all these I'm able to access. I just need to create a provider for this repository. Okay, and uh, 
here we can see our entity that is important part like how we are defining the entity is a in sqlize we can see this is a simple table post these are the columns string text integer and here we have some kind of relationships which i was talking about right it belongs to means this post has a one to one relationship with the user and this is the column integer column user id which is a foreign key to the user table so in the post entity we have a foreign key as a user id in the post table and then we have body and title which is of type string allow null false so these are like uh, the column object where you can pass all different things type allow null uh, condition and some constraints and then here you can you can actually use these annotations foreign key belongs to has many has one to define the association between different columns here the only thing is uh, the sqlize directly doesn't support the typescript so it has added all these things inside a another additional module which is sqlize typescript okay that's the only thing i will say a uh, major difference between type r and sqlize sqlize doesn't support uh, typescript out of the box you have to include this additional module for it and then rest of hi everyone so here uh, you can see we are just talking about the post module i just did there some clean up because we don't want to introduce a multiple entities and make our example a little complex so these are our routes right and this is our service what we are doing in the service is uh, this controller is calling the service and with the help of providers we are injecting this entity this repository post repository inside our service and we are able to call create find all find one destroy and update here you can see this is the post provider inside post provider we are just using the na uh, name and the use class this is the provider and use class and this is our post entity that is a representation of database table so here we have only uh, two columns title and body no relationships and all just to keep it simple this is our post module which we are importing in our main module so this is our app module here we are importing database module and the post module an important part database module has all these different things if you go inside a database module this is how we we are making the connection to the database which is different than how we are doing it with the nsjs type orm nsjs mongoose here we have to return the sqlize object and sqlize dot sync what it does is it it always see your entities and your database if your database doesn't have the table then it automatically creates so you should always be careful with the sqlize dot sync okay it is returning only the sqlize object whatever the synchronization you wanted to do in the entity and database you should write a proper migrations for that like npm run db migrate that will create a table in your postgres database and you should be able to write the crud operation on top of that so based on the environment this is a database provider it is providing sqlize and this is use factory class use factory function based on the environment it is returning the config object and the same config object we are passing to the sqlize instance and inside sqlize you have to add all the modules all the entity like post user product card all the entities you import in the file and you add all the models so sqlize will know okay i have a user model i have a product model i have the cart model and i i will expose the methods like find find one all the methods to that okay our application is currently running and we only have a some simple routes for the post entity like i did console.log to check the sqlize object is generating i mean if you are passing the correct credentials for the database then sqlize instance will be returned you will add the models and you are returning the sqlize object from here now database module you have to include your database provider inside database module that's it and then include this database module in your app module so what all we have we have module we have services we have providers we have controllers we have entities and we have auth card and all these those are additional things and the additional module we have only is the database module you might have a redis module database module kafka module elastic search module similarly database is a external interface and we created a separate module for it okay so this is the plain and clean example i already have pushed it on to the github
So if you want to play around the Next.js with the SQLize, Next.js with the Typeorum, Next.js with the Next, Next.js with the simple GraphQL application, you can play with those kind of examples. Okay. Uh, thanks everyone.